it's broken it down into three years okay after the third year if you want to do medicine then you um, need to get about a distinction for distinctions or high distinctions in your third year the first year and the second year are less important because university knows that you are just adjusting okay so they give you some leeway so if you get distinctions and high distinctions you're often um, most certainly able to get into medicine okay so you just need to make do the GAMSAT which is a test in um, your knowledge of chemistry physics and sciences okay you need to do that in March okay um, in third year March and basically that will enable you to hopefully get a med position now it's not that hard about about 50 or 60 people I think got into medicine from my year so and there was about a hundred and eighty left so that's a huge chunk of people okay um, yeah so, so most people um, just you know go off to further studies or like stay and get a job if they want but um yeah the other people not most okay then you can decide to do honors if you don't happen to get into medicine from there you can do honors which is another year and generally from honors you have a much better chance of getting a med position because it just shows how dedicated you are as a student okay finally you can do your masters and then you can do your PhD and become a researcher um, yeah so the next thing I want to discuss <coughs> is the aspect of getting jobs in this degree okay now this is what made me decide not to do biomedical science and not to find a job in the department um, I was comparing the jobs you know getting a job for biomedical science and comparing it to getting a job in engineering engineering jobs are like they've got so much more jobs offer, offered for engineering students that it's amazing you can't even compare the two okay 